One of the questions that we had on the agenda for today was what are the risks and potentially the opportunities for the EU directly borrowing money on the financial market? Uh, as you know, the, the stability and growth path is suspended. The Commission is now talking about reintroducing it in 2022. Uh, for me, it's very unlikely that we will get out of this crisis with the same parameters that we had when we introduced the single, the single currency and established in the SGP. There's no way we can keep the rule of the 60% limit of debt uh, to, through the GDP ratio because we will be will go out of that uh, of the crisis with uh, with uh, very high um, debt levels. And frankly speaking, I, I do believe that the debate on, on austerity will come again in one or two years. There will be a political battle around that. I'm totally, I'm, I'm fully aware of this. But I'm more of the opinion that we will need to, to be used of, high, of having higher debt levels and that there are tools to manage that. There are monetary tools. You can address that through taxation. You can address that to a policy mix who promotes a, a sustainable and manageable level of inflation to make that debt burden uh, uh, reduced. But I think there's no way public opinions will accept again austerity. So we'll need to find new ways of managing that. Actually, I think we are somehow in a constant situation of austerity. I mean, even now, it's not that, you know, that the majority of the population really gains from all these measures not taking um, employment into account. Of course, there is a certain stabilization of employment, but uh, there is no um, increase of unemployment benefits. There is no increase in social security. Uh, inequality is rising. It seems very obvious that uh, the result of the crisis will be a huge or further concentration of capital. So um, I'm not so sure whether there will not be any austerity policies afterwards. We have this crisis today, but given the predictable sustainability crises that the world is going to go through over the coming decades, we have to adjust our economies, I would say structurally, to deal with an entirely new world. And I think this COVID crisis is just a sign of what it means dealing with a society that is not built on sustainable parameters. And, and unsustainability, lack of sustainability, is the new parameter of our economies. And we have to, to, to switch softwares, we have to think differently.